Hey guys, before hopping into the video, I wanted to announce that Louise now has merch. This was by popular demand. You can get it in the link below. It comes in different colors, different sizes, men's, women's, youth. My personal favorite is the I Heart Cats shirt. So if you love Louise and would like to support us, please check it out. Now on to the Louise update. Good morning, Lou. Are you such a happy morning girl? Yeah, are you giving me a bath? Thank you. Look at how sweet you are. Are you just so happy? Good morning, guys. It is super early because Louise and I are trying to be morning people, aren't we? Yeah. Good. Today marks one year since I adopted this baby. I just want a cute, cuddly kitty. So. Hi, girl. Louise, how are you this cute? Is this even real? Lou, what you doing over here in the tray? You think that that's where you're supposed to sit? Oh, how are you so cute? I don't understand. Oh, gotta say, I think Louise likes being a morning cat. Yes, you do. Do some flips. Do some flips. Okay, so one year ago today is the day I was scrolling through my Instagram feed, came across a little white cat with blue eyes that a rescue had posted. That cat was not Louise, but that cat was one of Louise's relatives, which was pretty much identical to her. And so I messaged them and they, Louise is going crazy. I messaged them and they told me that they had another cat just like that at a Petco nearby. And I just impulsively, not impulsively, cause I'd wanted a cat for a while, specifically a white cat with blue eyes, but I wasn't planning on getting one that day. But I impulsively went to that Petco and met Louise and it was love at first sight. She perked up right away. And that day I filled out an adoption application. I think it's gonna happen. I just filled out an application for her and I contacted my roommates and they're cool with it. And took her home that night. She's so cute. It's actually amazing that she lit up so much the first time she saw me because I shortly after that found out what a scaredy cat she was. She would hide for weeks. She is hiding, but that's okay. Um, they say it takes a few days for cats or even weeks for them to come out of hiding sometimes. But it took her quite a while a while to warm up. There's so much that has happened over the year with Louise. Also, if you're new here, you might not know that she was rescued from a cat hoarder. She's, she's got the zoomies. She was rescued from a cat hoarder. They had 30 something cats and they were all inbred and Louise was one of five fully healthy cats that didn't have crossed eyes or a crooked spine or like extra toes. So she was one of the, the few like fully healthy ones. She's my little inbred hoarder cat and I love her. No joke, I am a serious cat mom, but I wanted to go over that little backstory. For any of you who might be new here, I will go over a lot of other things throughout the day. But that's all for now, cheers. <laughs> Louise, are you sitting on your throne, which is is me? You're my favorite girl. Who can relate? I needed to get up and grab my laptop, but once your animal is relaxing on you, it's like, it's a rule, you can't move. So I guess I'm stuck until she decides to move. I'm always so amazed by how sweet and cute this little cat is. You're so cute. So, first of all, I wanted to say I forgot to pick the winners for all the giveaways that I did in December. So you can find the winners in the description below. Congratulations to everyone who won. Also, I have a huge, huge, huge announcement. My girl Maddie Wilson sent me this for Christmas and I thought it was just like a nice little artwork piece of Louise, but I found out she actually got me this to make Louise merch. So Louise merch is ready and available for you. I will link it all down below. I really hope you go check it out. 
out and that would mean so much to Louise and I for the support. I've been really wanting to do Louise merch. I actually put that on my vision board and that's like the first goal I've accomplished. So if you love Louise and you want to support us, please go check that out and get yourself something. If you have Amazon Prime, you can get the free delivery because it's on Amazon Prime. Yeah. And she's stretching. Blue. Ow. <laughs> you guys, I hope you all have a cat that has a personality like this or get one someday because anyone who is not a cat person have not met a sweet cat like this because who could not like this? One thing I love about her, and I've said this before, she always has a little curly tail and it's the cutest thing and I was told that that means that she's just really happy with her life. Oh, yeah. are you so happy with your life? You're so cute. So, nickname she has, Lou. Lula Bells, Lulu's. I call her my little sweets, cause she's my little sweets, cause she's so sweet, I love you. That is all I can think of at the moment. Lou, get in the camera, they wanna see you. They're not here for me, they're here for you. You need to, there you go. She has been the best thing in my life ever, and she's really well behaved. There was an instance where she started scratching my new furniture. Louise has been a little naughty girl lately, haven't you? Yeah. You're pretty rebellious. If you can see right there. And then, oh no, this is worse than I thought it was right there. Louise has attempted to use my bed as her new scratching post. But as soon as I got her her own scratching post, she pretty much only scratches on that. Cause she's so smart and well behaved. <laughs> Oh, so one update, as you guys probably know, we recently moved to this apartment. This is our home now. What do you think, Lou? Look, Lou. I'm here and you're here. It's a nice place. You want to explore? Lou's feeling a little sketched out. You just need some time to adjust, huh? I'm right here with you. It's okay, girl. We're in this together. And she was very terrified initially with the whole moving process. She hid behind the washer and dryer a lot for the first several days, maybe a week. Louise, that's not your bed. So, for those of you who are not familiar, cats are very, uh, they're very into their territory. So I basically just took her out of her home that she's been used to and threw her into this one. So she's gonna take a while to warm up and I just kind of gotta let her do her thing. She's living the life now, from cat hoarder to luxury lifestyle. Crazy hair and glasses. I know you guys are here for Louise, but I also need to update you on my progress as a cat mom. First of all, this is what I drank my tea out of today and it says cat hair, don't care. I also have I love my cat, and it says number one cat mom. And with that, I am now known as the cat person. Anytime there are cute cat videos or memes or anything to do with cats, everyone either tags me in those posts or sends me those photos or videos or anything like that. And all of my friends get me cat related things now. Like this bag was a birthday gift bag from one of my friends. This teacup was a gift from a friend. Ah, these cat ears. I can get them on my head. These cat ears, another gift from a friend. This little tray, another gift. And here's the thing, I have always been a cat person. I had cats growing up, but I also had dogs. I'm, I'm not just a cat person. I am very obsessed with Louise. I post about her all the time. But the thing is, if I have a dog one day, or if I had a dog now, I would be doing the exact same thing. So I don't want to just be categorized as a cat person because I'm also a dog person. I'm just an animal lover, animal person in general. So you better believe one day there's a good chance that Louise may have a dog brother and he will get the same treatment. I love this baby so much. One thing about Louise, is she follows me everywhere. If I go into the bathroom, she follows me. Louise, I'm trying to take a bath. Why are you so obsessed with me? Why do you have to follow me everywhere I go? If I lay down on the bed, she follows me. What you doing, Lou? You just sitting there and purring? My little stalker. And I love her though, so I don't mind it too much. Are you going crazy? Yeah.
you guys did not know, Louise knows how to sit because uh, she's just so smart. She's so, so smart. So I taught her with treats, but she will do it on her own. I'll show you. Sit. That was not sit. Look, sit. Yay, see how good she is. She didn't even need a treat to do it because she's just so well behaved and so smart. You're so smart. And one way I keep that up with her is every night to get her dinner, her wet food, she has to sit for it first. Oh, all right, Lou. Are you ready for your din -dins? Are you ready for din, -din? Can you sit? Yes, good job. Here you go. Here you go. By the way, I give Louise her wet food at night and then she always has her dry food available for her. Um, she does not overeat or anything, so this is a really good system. And I take people's advice when you leave any suggestions in the comments. I was told to keep the water separate from the food because that's like a natural thing for them to have it separate. So her water is right here on the other side of the island. Come here, Lou. What are you doing, you silly cat? You just having a good old time. Come here. Come to your mama. Oh, you should come to your mama. Good girl. We gotta end the video so you have to be with me. Finally the end of the video and I actually like really did my makeup and hair. But it's okay. This video wasn't about me, it's about Lou. Lou, what do you have to say? Oh yeah, is that right? Oh, don't push me away. Louise and I have had a really, really good year together and she's definitely found her forever home. She's not going anywhere else. There's nothing that would make her need a new home ever. So if you ever get an animal, like make sure that that's a lifelong decision for them. She's getting real squirmy. Make sure that's a lifelong decision for them and it's not just a spur of the moment. I want an animal, but I don't plan on keeping it forever. Like Louise is going to be with me for her whole life. Because she is my family. She's my daughter and you don't just give up your children. Mm. Even though she does not want me holding her right now. Also. Oh, I'm so, she's getting so mad. Also, as you know, she is a rescue cat. I adopted her, so I really do want to encourage you that if you want an animal, you can get any kind of animal that you want. I'm not saying that you have to have a specific kind, like I did always want a white cat with blue eyes. She's gone. But for those of you who feel like you need to buy an animal because there's a specific look or a specific breed you want, trust me, the exact animal you want is out there somewhere needing a home, in a rescue, in the pound. So make sure to look around, don't just go to a breeder. And that's one thing when I got Louise, I made sure to adopt. She is my perfect little rescue cat. Not to say all animals aren't perfect, but of course everyone thinks that their own animal is perfect. I'm so sorry, she's getting so mad. But with that being said, <laughs> don't forget that Louise has merch. We would love your support if you'd go check that out. It is linked down below. I have cat hair all in my mouth. But that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed Louise's one year adoption update. She's laying right here wagging her little tail. Say goodbye, Louise. <coughs> Bye guys. Um, how cute is this? That's ridiculous. You're ridiculous, Louise.